I'm trying not to cry. All right, y'all. I'm about to get in the truck. I'm about to get in the truck. I'm about to get in the truck. Get in the truck. I'm about to get in the truck. me like a train man. It's been a while since I vlogged, but so my test is like eight days away. So I got eight days. Really, let's see. I really have six school days until I can master everything. Surprisingly, I feel confident um, with my maneuvers. I'm able to do my offset with just one pull up, uh, one get out and look. And I'm able to do my 90 with two, really three pull ups and no get out and looks. So I feel like I'm just gonna have to sacrifice a point with my 90 degree uh, backing. And then my straight back, no pull ups, just straight back. That's pretty easy. So my next concern is doing my in cab inspection. I haven't really mastered that yet. I haven't mastered my in cab inspection and also I need to focus on uh, pre-tripping the part that's between my king my kingpin and my trailer. My brakes I know good, my suspension I know good, and uh, in my engine compartment I know good. If you would have told me last year, hey, you're gonna be doing all of this within two and a half, three weeks, I would not believe you because I don't know nothing about cars. But the fact that I'm able to do this is just like really surprising to me. So yeah, um, it's about 6.40 something in the morning. We're about to have a meeting. And then after that, um, we're just going to get started. I'm going to try to be the first one to do my 90 degree back and go practice on that. While everybody else does something, I don't know. And um, yeah, so I'll check in with y'all later. I'll try to put a clip in here of me driving or something. I can't get the outside of my vehicle because I don't want nobody seeing me record. Um, but I always can get the inside because most of the time I'm in here by myself. My clearance lights are the proper color. They are securely mounted, not bit broken or cracked. My windshield is securely mounted, not bit broken or cracked with no obstructions. My headlights are securely mounted, proper color. They are not bit broken or cracked. They have two functions, high beams, low beams. I have my turn signals that are securely mounted proper color not bent broken or cracked it has three functions turn signals hazard lights and parking lights i look underneath my truck there are no puddles if there was a puddle it would it would indicate a leak my parents lights are working my headlight is working my high beams are working my left turn signal works, my right turn signal works, my four-way flasher works, I right, she walks to the back, my truck is, uh, she walks to the back. Good morning, y'all, it's been a minute since I recorded. I got my backing right, I got, you know, my straight backs, I'm good on that. My offset, I, 
uh, I'm pretty good. I'm probably about 90% good on my offset and and on my 90 degree backing, I'm probably a good 60% good on that. So on your test day, you're only allowed two pull-ups and two get outs. And so one day I did uh, my 90 degree backing with no get outs and three pull-ups. So on my if I was if I was taking my test and I did that, I would um I would get a point for pulling up more than two times. But I wouldn't I wouldn't fail. I just they like have like a certain point system that they go by. So yeah, and then I did um my 90 degree backing yesterday with the only one pull up. So that made me feel good. I'm at the end of week three and I'm kind of sick. I went out driving with my trainer and I just kept messing up, kept messing up. I don't know what's the problem. I don't know why I keep messing up. Okay, I know why I'm messing up. Um, so the thing is, he has me trying to shift gears when I'm either going up a steep hill or going down a steep hill. And with that, you gotta do it really fast. And I don't feel comfortable doing that, but I guess I have to learn it either way. But when I'm doing that, it's just messing me up. And like, say if I'm shifting from four to five, going up a steep hill, I get stuck in neutral. And it's like, I don't even know how to fix that. So yeah, I'm like frustrated. And I was the, I started driving. I was the first one to go driving today. And we started at like 6.30. Yeah, I'm not happy right now. So I don't even wanna do nothing. And it ain't nothing but like eight o'clock. I don't wanna do nothing. I'm trying not to cry. Cause I really want to get this, but like I'm already in it. I'm already an emotional person. So when I like fail at something or I'm messing up, like I just start crying and getting angry and stuff. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hey y'all, today was horrible. Like, how in the world am I having amazing days and then the next day is horrible? Like, I haven't learned anything. I just don't get it. This morning, I was the first to go out. Like, what? Uh, one of us goes out with uh, one of our trainers and we go driving around the city or whatever. And he tells, uh, well, by now we should know when and how to downshift and upshift. But the issue is, he has us downshifting on a steep hill. Now, at the beginning of my CDL school, I was told that you're not supposed to downshift on a hill. But now he has us downshifting, and his explanation was, um, sometimes.
sometimes you're in a situation where you have to downshift. Even if you're going down a hill, and I understand that, but I don't know. I'm not getting it. Going from um, eight to seven was really hard, and I was stalling in traffic. I'm just a little frustrated right now. Um, today just was really a really bad day, and then the, a couple days ago, I was able to do a 90 degree backing with one pull up. Now I can't even back into the parking spot. Like I don't get, I don't know what is wrong with me, but I'm stressed out. Like at this point, I want a cigarette and some beer because I shouldn't be this far into my CDL school and not know what I'm doing. So yeah, I am just, I'm ready to give up y'all. I'm not gonna lie.